Well, it's Saturday and uh, I've got Simon and uh, his work colleague doing a bit of plastering over the other side and Alistair's just brought the TR down with the V8 in that we built on uh, one of the last episodes just to show us that and I've got to just set the tappets so I'll, I'll show you the car. So that's his rally car which is all custom built by Alistair and Boxy Body Shop and then that's the V8 that we built the other week. Um, it was on the rolling road one day this week and uh, the power figures weren't exactly what we was hoping for. I mean I actually think the these Australian heads are, are too big but um, I'm going to run through the tappets, he's going to take it on the rally and then we've got to try and find some more power out of it. Um, get it to where it should be. I think maybe might be a take another chunk off the cylinder head and a bit more off the inlet manifold to get the compression up. But there we are. Let's uh, set the tappets. So the other job that's happening while I'm doing the tappets is Alistair is sticking a throttle return spring on his um, on his throttle bodies. I'll show you this job that I've just done actually. So that there, I've bored it, skimmed the block, honed it and washed it. So I'm just about ready to uh, finish the cylinder head off on that one. And then the other job that I'm doing, which I started the other day actually, I took three mil off a crown wheel for a customer. Um, he's dummy built it and I've got to take another two mil off didn't film the first bit but I thought I'd film the second bit and show that I don't know if you can see but there's where it's polished there polished there and polished around the stud holes is where it's uh, is where it's hardened so that bit there's a bit of a bugger to get past the actual steel part once you get past the hardening is okay but yeah the the hardening is uh, is rock hard so I have to keep doing uh, little bites at that. So that's my next job to do today. So the first thing that I'm going to do before I actually start to machine this is just drop the DTI on it just to make sure that I've got it running true like I did last time because we don't want no run out on this. set the lathe into three wheel and then just adjust it where it needs it three thousandths of an inch now so I'll just try and get it down that last little bit there we are absolutely bad 
hang on, no run out in that at all now, so just give it a quick nip up in the lathe, just spin it again just to make sure, yeah perfect. So that's the crown wheel now machined. I'm just gonna take another quick measurement of it just to make sure that I've taken off the right amount that the customer wanted. So if I just move the bed back. Yeah, he wanted two, he wanted two mil off it. That's where we're at. So um, all I've got to do now is deburr this on this inside edge here and just on here. Clean my lathe and uh, that's another job done. So a job that I've had turn in today, oh well actually they turned in Friday, it's Sunday today, um, is these Land Rover injectors to be tested and cleaned and and uh, have the filters replaced. Now what's different about these is they don't use a seal along the top, they use a hose, so this is like a barbed part of the injector. So what I need to do first is take out the filters, and the reason being is to test these, we fit a different style of um, converter in there, or adapter I should say. So what's good about the kit is I've had this kit for a long time so I have got quite a few different extra bits and bobs but what that means is it allows me to test these injectors so I use these converters which can which basically these fit inside here and then it runs straight up into the injector testing rail so I need eight of these And then the next thing I need to do is to take all the filters out. Now to do that, we use this special tool and then we just screw this in. Oops, hit the camera. Send the camera flying. And then that pulls out the filter basket. So then we just unscrew the filter basket off this tool and then do the next seven. Right now the filters are out of these injectors. It's just a case of popping these little adapters into each one. and then unscrewing out of this um, fuel rail up here the blanking caps taking off the guard for the ultra for the test fluid black uh, bank bath even sorry
and then just put in the injectors, just pop into there. Sometimes they just need a little bit of wiggle to get them in, but there we go, that's it. So now that the injectors are loaded onto the machine, the first thing that we need to do is tell the as new tester what kind of injector that we're doing. So we're just doing a standard manifold type injector. So I can put in all of the um, <coughs> all of the injectors configurations into the computer down below. That asks me how I want to check them. Then it asks how many injectors I'm testing so it can sort out the um, wiring on it. How long do I want to test them for? And then basically the machine is ready to prime and as it's priming I can set my test pressure. So I want to test them at around three and a half bar. The next test is a leak test. So this is basically putting three and a half bar through the injectors but it's not firing the solenoid of the injector. <clears throat> it does this for 30 seconds and what we're looking for is any kind of dribbling out the needle on the injector around the pintle area. Um, straight away I can see that nothing's coming out so far so I think this is going to be a successful test for the injector. Right, that's the injectors all cleaned and back in the machine to be um, to be flow tested and checked over. I used a different uh, injector plate to test them with, so I'm going to give that a wipe off, put that back in the drawer. I just ran them up to get the pressure up, and then one of the, this injector here has got a slight leak from one of the seals, so I just need to have a quick look where that's coming from. Coming from there, the, the, there's a little uh, nick in that uh, in that O-ring, so I'm going to change that quick. And get that back in the test rail. Build the pressure up again, make sure we've got no leaks. is I'm just uh, putting different fuel pressure through it just to make sure that it's all okay and good and then what I've got to do now is just run it through the the test tubes to make sure that they're all flowing the, the same amount of millilitres or more than before Wally, I haven't pressed the right, I didn't think that sounded right, I hadn't pressed the right um, setting for duty cycle and speed, so I just changed that quick, there we are. Got to get it right, there's no point doing a test if we don't do a consistent test.
So what that's done is it's evened up the test and it's actually flowing a couple of millilitres more than before as well. So, um, so the test, test was good. So what I've got to do now is take them out of the machine, uh, give them a wipe off, put filters in them, so I'll, I'll show that for you done. Um, so they're the little filter baskets that we replace in the in the in the end of the injector. So there's eight of these going in. So they're just a case of uh, getting them in the end of the injector and then just pressing them in. So the last thing I've got to do is bag the injectors up. So I just use this heat sealer that my friend Jamie bought me. I think he was sick of me giving bits back to him in a cardboard box, so yeah, really kindly bought me one of these. And I use it all the time. I hope I've cut the bag long enough. It looks like it's uh, looks like it's not going to be long enough actually. See that I've replaced the bits in it for him as well. There we are, all done. So that's it. That's uh, eight Land Rover injectors serviced back in the box. Um, I've set the machine up to do some four cylinder because in the morning I've got a guy come in uh, to do some while you wait injectors. So that's it for this uh, this this video. Um, the next one is going to be a workshop update because we've been having some plastering done and we're still far from done, but it's looking quite cool. So. I'm gonna I'm gonna get a workshop update in there. So I hope everyone has a good week and I'll catch you on the next video. Cheers!